Sheen Show. Yeah, boy. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Outward video. Today, we're going to be talking about the halberd called Duty. It's a unique weapon in Outward that has quite a bit of impact, damage, and a nice attack speed. The coolest thing about this halberd, however, is that it applies burning and then holy blaze, which are extremely powerful status effects that you can apply onto your enemy to deal damage over time. Let's check out how you can get it. Head over to the Caldera region and take a left. gonna be heading over to the oil refinery and you'll notice it by all the you know oil refinery equipment it's very close to the entrance of caldera making it pretty easy to get to Enter the cave and take a right. There are some fearsome foes in here, but you should be able to avoid most of them. The only one we're worried about is the gargoyle. If he hits you, it's going to do quite a bit of damage. You can run past him, but be careful. He is on the right here, right before this switch or lever that we need to pull. Pull that and exit the cave. What we're trying to do here is lower oil levels. So there is a cave that we're about to head to where there's a lot of oil and we're trying to get that amount of oil to decrease so they can walk through the cave once you're out of the cave head under this pipe here and all the way down to the outflow pipe This is also not very far from the previous location and pretty easy to get to. Unfortunately, however, once you get here, you won't be able to actually cross it. There's no bridge or anything. You need to head back to where you came from and there's a small, tiny bridge that leads towards this cave if you happen to miss it. Upon entering the outflow entrance, you will once again be trying to decrease the levels of oil. The notice there's a pit of oil on your right as soon as you enter. This is what we need to get into. Pull the lever once you enter the bigger room of this cave and watch out for the Cali Grays. They are quite fast. If you head back, you'll know that the oil is still up and that lever actually didn't do anything in this room. That's because it did something in the other room and opened up another lever for us to pull. Head down this now opened up ramp and you can pull the lever on the left side. With that lever pulled, the oil in the very first room should be gone. However, the room we actually want into is this one right up here. So once again, we need to head back to the main room and pull another level to decrease the oil amount in this room. For entering this room over here, there is a gargoyle, and gargoyles are pretty tough. If they hit you with their AoE, it's going to suck a lot, as the effects that it applies are not great. Go ahead and sneak around this guy, and you won't have any trouble, though.
Once again, we need to head back to the main room, and after going down the ramp, the right entrance or cave will be open now. The halberd is in this room, or I should say the entrance to the room with the halberd is here. However, we can't quite get to it yet, I don't think. Pretty sure we need to do one more lever. Another gargoyle, but you should be able to avoid him just as easily as the rest of the ones we've been avoiding. After pulling this lever head left, and there will be a key you can get by these Madis. They're actually pretty easy to avoid, however, as they try and follow you around but can't float up ledges. Simply bait them and then jump down, grab the key. This key opens up the gate that's in this middle connecting area here. This is actually how you get to the Jin or Genie character, if you were wondering. He's a cool boss fight that is really fun to do in this game. Right now, however, we don't want that. We want to go left after exiting this gin area. And there is a small cave on the right side of this room. I didn't even notice it the first time. I was like, wait a minute, where's this halberd at? Oh, wait, there's a room. Upon entering this room, there's going to be a whole bunch of oil. So if you're looking for thick oil, this is a pretty great place to get some. The halberd you're looking for is right in the center. This unfortunately is the ruined halberd, however, and we need to fix it up. To do this, we need giant heart garnets. One can easily be found in the Blister Burrow Cave in Cherisonese. Immediately after exiting the city, head left, enter this cave, and there is a very easy path straight to the heart garnet. It's also kind of nice since most of the enemies in this cave are super easy to deal with. It's also worth noting that this heart does not respawn, so if you're thinking it will respawn after 7 days, it will not. The game treats it more like a unique item. After grabbing this giant heart, we need two more. So we need a total of three, but where are we gonna get the other two? Well, giants will actually drop them. You can kill giants in the marsh, in the desert, in Enmerker Forest, really anywhere you can find a giant and they have a chance to drop this small heart garnet. An easy location for a giant is over in the hollowed marsh near the giant's village. He usually hangs out at the exit as he's kind of sad that he got kicked out of the town. Once you have all three heart garnets and you have the ruined halberd, head over to Caldera again and head right immediately after entering the area. There's a small giant village or giant town here and we want to talk to the vendor that sells things in Silkworm's Refuge. With the halberd in hand and the garnets with you, you can get a new dialogue option that says, Say, do you think you could fix the silk banner on this fancy halberd of mine? Yes, he can, but only if you bring him three heart garnets. Well, as we've already done this, you should have another dialogue option that says, I have what you asked for. Upon doing that, he will fix the halberd for you. He then asks you to treat the halberd much better than the last owner did, as it appears to have some symbolism to the giants. And now you have the halberd known as Duty. This is a really, really strong weapon in this game. And the reason is not only because of the status effects, it's a very fast halberd. You can attack quite quickly with it, the impact is really good, and once you get Holy Blaze on enemies that are weak to lightning, it's going to absolutely shred their health bar while you fight them. 
Also, it's worth taking note that this halberd looks really cool. I mean, it has the main outward symbol on the flag there, the compass. Plus, it's got a tiny little flame torch on the top of it, which makes it, I don't know, just pretty appealing aesthetically. One of my favorite weapons from the Caldera region, as it is just really, really nice to have. And since halberds are pretty strong anyway, adding this to your inventory will only increase your power and damage against many enemy types in Outward. Do be aware, however, that this weapon actually decreases your stamina recovery rate by negative 10%. It's the only drawback to this weapon, but hey, that's not even that bad. Head over to Caldera and get this weapon, as it's super easy to grab and is really, really strong. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.